Are you waiting on me? You already started the truck and everything? Well, that's a good dog. Train your dogs well. They can warm the truck up for you. Pretty good trick, I think. All right, sale barn. Sorry, we're going to the butcher. Sale barn will be next weekend. All right, so these are the same four rams that we caught last video. And this is the next day in real life. We loaded them last night, basically, in the video that you saw. And then today, early in the morning, it's 6.30, 6.45. We're going to the butcher shop in Dixon. That's where our customers wanted these dropped off to. So we've got those four rams. We've got two ram lambs that are 60 pounds that they wanted as well. So time to go. I'll see you guys later. Just so you guys can see how they travel. They ate quite a bit. We usually don't put water in here because it's a short trip. And in all honesty, when we put water in there for them to travel with, it usually makes more of a mess than it does anything. They don't drink it. They're willing to drink the, or eat the grain, but they're really not willing to touch the uh, water when we're traveling, it seems. Well, I'm struggling with this. See, they were eating the grain right now. So, like I said, they don't travel with water. We travel them with grain, especially on a short trip like this. We're only going about 45 minutes. All right, Bella and I made it back. The rams got dropped off at the butcher, so did the ram lambs. And now, needless to say, since my neighbor was nice enough to lend me his trailer, and I made a muddy mess of it, I'm gonna clean it up because it's the right thing to do. Always wanna turn a piece of equipment you borrow back in either better condition than you got it or a cleaner condition in this case. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, you'll notice that I am doing it right here where the uh, new shop building is about to be built. I'm doing that for a reason. One, I'm not gonna put enough water on the ground to make a big difference, it'll, it'll dry up. But two, because I don't want all that mud to be in my driveway. So, also gonna wash this up. The, uh, I guess to make this make more sense, this will be like the corner of the building for instance, and it'll run parallel to this fence line. 60 feet this way so everything in here is going to get gravel that's actually they actually dropped off some gravel they're going to start on this uh not today so they're going to start today saturday they're going to start on tuesday no monday i'm sorry monday um actually when you guys see this video they will have already been done and returned it other thing i got to do is i really need to get the manure spread I'm waiting until later in the afternoon to do it because the ground is still a little wet um, not so much here but over where our hay fields at where I have to cross to get up on the high side I do need to go through a low water area and being that that tractor weighs a lot by itself adding that manure spreader with all the contents all those political promises in it uh, we'll just say the politicians carrying a heavy load so, I'm gonna get that done. The other thing I need to do is, we've got this stood up and everything. I need to seal a couple of spots because they've been patched, not a big deal, but the silicone that they put on there, you can hopefully you can see right there, it's got a, a little hole in it. So I wanna patch that and be done with it. And then, last but not least, oh, I was gonna record this, but I forgot my camera. Jason and I made a shoot for it so we can put the bucket under here. And then we also made some little louvers so it'll drop right into the bucket. I meant to record it, I didn't. I'm sorry. Sometimes when me and Jason hang out, uh, more horsing around happens than achievement, it seems. Sometimes. But either way, 
We got that done. Jason and, and Kyle, you'll see where we stood this up. I'll put the time lapse in. Actually, no, I put the time lapse in earlier. So you saw that earlier in the video. That's all done. Uh, those of you that are curious, this is a 12 ton bin. Uh, no, we will not fill it with 12 tons worth of grain. And the reason being is because for me to use 12 tons right now with, so we'll just say it, we'll go off of last year's figures with the amount of animals we had. So 77 adult moms and so with 77 adult moms and with uh we had 94 94 lambs um obviously not all the moms gave birth some of them were first time and they were well they were young enough to be first time but they didn't get bred not a big deal we're okay with it because they were still pretty young uh anyways if we go up that same idea and that same ration we went through three tons in three months so basically a ton a month so if i filled this up i'd have to feed them the same ration of grain for it to be used in a year essentially and to be blatantly honest they don't get grain during the summer they only get grain when they're getting fed hay so unless they're in the barn they don't get grain or if they're making a trip to the butcher shop they get grain it's their last meal um, so that's kind of where we're at with grain but we will fill it up enough that we have weight in there so it doesn't get blown around we put some big rocks down uh, below this, and then we also put rocks right below the feet that spread out that weight a little bit in hopes that it will help keep it from sinking or anything. So I need to get going. I'd love to explain more to you, and I will in a little bit, but I need to get stuff washed because I'm burning daylight. Oh, she's always so beautiful. Silly me. I came all the way over here to grab that hose when I just remembered that I could just grab a hose and hook it up to this one. Oh, life is getting better. Not that it was bad before, but. All right, so earlier in the video, you saw us washing, getting stuff ready, right? Well, I should have done this first so it has more time to dry in the sun. However, I didn't, so we're gonna go do it now. And kinda, no matter what, unless somebody was just super meticulous, you're gonna have some spots that are gonna have to get repaired on a grain silo or a grain bin, or in this case, a bulk bin. It's not a big deal as long as you do it correct. That way you don't have to worry about water getting in there and ruining whatever it is that you happen to be storing. So you can see here, they patched it pretty well. You can see right there that they didn't quite get the uh, silicone on there well. It's actually really hard to do because I'm holding on to the ladder with one hand. And this is the same problem they had. As you go home wondering, yes, using my finger to spread this around because I want to make sure we got a good even coverage everywhere. Looks good. Time to move on to political promises. Should hopefully be dry enough. All right. I needed to fill that up with grain today from our gravity wagon. It's probably not gonna happen. I'm already running behind. I still haven't changed oil in the truck or the car yet. I need to get that done. And once that's done, I really need to start spreading political promises. So. I have a slightly different solution. Since I have this building right here, I'm actually going to take a couple of ratchet straps and basically pull down on this. Um, kind of give the same effect of it have, being filled with grain. Hold it in place and, and make it to where the wind can't push it around or anything. All right, so you can see, I mean, it's mainly putting weight on this side, which is really my bigger concern anyways, because this is the south over here. And usually any severe storms we get generally come from the south or the west. 
and since this is able to pull down right here on the southwest corner and then we've also pulled down on the southeast corner and then we've got the ex excess run over here sorry excuse me running over here to uh tie off i'm hoping that's enough uh, god willing we won't get any storms bad enough to worry about it but we'll, time will tell i guess and uh yeah i gotta get to work All right, we got our water and stuff with us. The uh, tractor should be ready, but we're just gonna check the oil and the hydraulic fluid and everything. And go ahead and get started. Unfortunately, as you can see in the background, it looks like the weather is not gonna work in our favor. And hopefully it doesn't rain. I don't mind if it's windy. Well, actually I do because of that. But I don't mind if it's windy, you know, like, breezy but doesn't rain it wouldn't be terrible i guess i really need to get all these political promises spread because i need the i need the barn cleaned up i need it for storage because once i go pick up the materials for the shop i want to store them in here hey you want to go for a ride in my big orange tractor i'm gonna check the oil maybe Ooh. Uh oh. Those are too full. Uh oh. It's still too full though, so that's good. Look at that. Shiny. That's the newest thing on here. That is the newest thing on here. That's the starter that you, well, yeah, that we so replaced that you burned up. Well, of course it's a shiny box for <laughs> I'd be worried if it was rusty. Let's check the hydraulic fluid real quick. Hydraulic fluid is very easy to check on this. So this one should be clear like that one, but since this one is clear and we can see it and we see fluid in there, we're good. We uh, just gotta go inside real quick and check the transmission fluid. And then we're ready to party. Assuming she starts. I mean, I left it outside last night. I may not start, she might be mad at me. She's pampered. More pampered than me. She deserves a little, little nice things here and there. She There's had a rough life. life. Look hey. at her. Hey. I deserve nice things. I'm not saying you don't, but she's all rusty. I've not had it easy. Beat up. Well, I'm not rusty and beat up. But. See? <laughs> she's had it rougher. And look, she's dirty. She's dirty up there. I'm not knocking Alice. But I am saying that there was a better place to put this dipstick. I don't know where, but it wasn't here. Between the lines, I think. Hard to tell. You might need to remeasure. Well, it's hard to tell because you gotta bend the dipstick to get it out. We are indeed. Actually, we're probably just a hair over full, but that's okay. You guys have seen before where I get the tractor stuck. I'd like to avoid that. So I'm walking down here just to check and see what the ground is like. Um, right here, it's it's good and dry. We're not, not necessarily dry, but it is solid. The problem is I gotta go down here and I gotta cross in this low point. And that's where I'm not so sure about. I'd have a little more confidence. If, if I had an 8000 series with front wheel assist, I'm sure I could do it. It'd just make a little bit of ruts. But being two wheel drive and being a heavy tractor and then top it off, we've got all that weight with the uh, manure spreader. You know, the old politicians carrying a lot of political promises. So I don't want to, I don't want to sink them. Slightly different plan. We're still going to try it, but I'm going to cross down here. This seems more solid. Yet again, pray for me.
is pretty solid right there. Lots of grasses there. But yeah, like Chrissy said, it's starting to rain, so we gotta hurry up. that don't need to be in here out and get them back with the rest of the flock and then when we do that we'll put two new bales in and those bales will last them pretty much until they're done and we'll also start filling the creep feeders up with grain so that they can have kind of an unlimited supply but uh i'll show you tomorrow how it's only so much out at a time that's my watch you but we're done spreading political promises pretty much for the year because the next batch whatever comes out of these guys right here it's actually just going to go on the garden so it's a done deal no more political promises for see you in the morning <laughs>